朋友，大家好。那么现在呢，我是身在洛杉矶当场的 Golden Trailer Awards 的门口。今天晚上呢，我们会看到电影圈的这个 Trailer 界所有的大咖跟大拿。今天晚上呢，奖项也是非常的多，像是有 Best Music、Best Horror Film， 还有 Best Thriller 等等等等。那么今天晚上来到现场的呢，也有许多我们家喻户晓的美国的电影跟电视界的一些熟人，像是 Missy p e l l 我个人非常的喜欢他。我相信很多在中国跟我这个同年龄的朋友呢，也都看多多少少看到过他。希望今天晚上他能够来到红毯上，让我们一睹风采，一起来看一下今天晚上的颁奖典礼。I'm doing、um, thriller, best thriller, and best horror trailer.、Oh. Oh、the one、uh, with Emily Blunt and、oh, a, quiet, a, quiet a quiet place looked really good. But that's kind of a thriller and a horror had a baby. That would be that movie, right?、Yes. So I'm, at that one, I might see because I heard that I. But for me, with a horror film or even a thriller, a lot of times I have to watch the end first because otherwise I might have a heart attack and then I wouldn't make it. For uh, uh, Black Panther, and in, in the best action trailer category,、uh, up against our own trailer for Kingsman 2. So it's exciting for us to have two trailers, a total of 14 award、uh, nominations tonight. So it's an exciting night for my company, Create Advertising. So the interesting thing on a movie like Black Panther is you get, you know, you hear about what the logline of the movie is. And you take a pause for a second, and you say, "Is this going to work or not?" And then you start to receive the assets for the movie, and you start to realize, "Oh, we can put something together." And then you cut it together, music, graphics, and suddenly, you know, with the help of our clients, you create something, and you realize, you find out it's testing at this great level, and you watch the groundswell that happens.、It's Very exciting for people like myself in this business. Yes, sometimes we watch dailies. You know, as the movie's being shot, we get we get the, the dailies every day from, you know, from the beginning sometimes, and sometimes we get a, a a cut feature provided by the production company or the studio. Well, I think the key to making a great trailer is telling enough of the story, but not too much of the story. Selling the jokes if you're doing a comedy, but not giving away every joke. You know what I'm saying?、That's、so you have to kind of take it to the edge, just enough to get them interested,、exactly. but not see. They audiences shouldn't feel like they saw the whole story. If they do, then they go, "Why do I have to go to the movie?" We're up for a couple of awards tonight. One is、uh, the movie "The Spy Who Dumped Me," and that's coming out in ju July. And we have、uh, a trailer up. For an award, I think it's with motion graphics, and we have a movie called Uncle Drew, which is a comedy this summer, and we're up for best teaser. My favorite trailer recently was Black Panther. It was it was so well done, and the movie lived up to it, and the trailer didn't give too much away. So I'm going Black Panther. No, I like that it didn't give anything away. I think it's important for a trailer to just make you want to see the film, but not give anything away. So hi everybody, I'm Leah Delaria, and.、Um, You probably know me from Orange Is the New Black. Yeah, we've had we've had plenty of pretty funny moments because we're all kind of crazy funny people on that show. So、um, probably the funniest one I ever had was the bed bug episode where we all had to wear underwear.、Um, basically, Natasha and、uh, Natasha Leone and I, Nikki and Nikki and Boo, did a lot of work together, and we just tried to make each other laugh. That's all we ever did. We never we were bad actors. We were always messing around. So、uh, when, oh yeah, yeah. So when、uh, when we had to wear my under, I had to wear my underwear. Natasha wasn't expecting me to just wear underwear. Like I guess everybody thought I was going to wear a jumpsuit, but Boo wasn't. Boo doesn't care. So I put on those big granny panties and a sports bra and my, her big stomping boots, 
and I wore my um, like like a tail that, that her name tag, the Boo name tag. Was yeah. So when I walked onto the set, she started laughing. So every time she would calm down, I would pull those panties up really high. So I had like camel toe up to my nose. And every time she would just like, she couldn't look at me. She couldn't stop laughing. So I finally, yeah. You know what? I, I feel like I feel like everybody's a winner. I really do. There's so much talent involved uh, in this event. And uh, it's kind of like, everybody, I mean, really, uh, this is a celebration of, of hard work and joy. So I feel like the winning is just the icing on the cake. So I'm on the show Vida that's on Stars, and it's the first of its kind. It's an all Latinx writing room, so it's all brown people writing it. It's an all Latinx cast, so it's all brown people in it, and it's a female Latina showrunner. So it's just like all people of color and so proud and excited. It's amazing. Yes, I'm hosting tonight. I love hosting. I love hosting dinner parties. I love hosting uh, comedy shows, award shows. You know, I just want to give everybody a big titty hug and be like, you did it, honey. And for the losers afterwards, I'll go drink at an open bar with them. It'll be fun. Oh, my God. You know what? I was just talking about, not this year, a couple years ago, but the Ghostbusters trailer dropped. It did. And I love it, too. And it dropped, like, way before the movie came out. And I was just, like, so excited for it because I was just thinking, if I was a 12-year-old girl watching a trailer like that, you know, this iconic movie, this ghost-busting situation, uh, you know, it would just be so... I'm getting the goosies thinking about it. It was just so inspirational. Black Panther以及王牌间谍的这个trailer的制作公司的领导聊了一下，他们对电影这个trailer制作的一些技巧也好，想法也好，跟我们进行了一个交流。大家呢也多少了解了一下，在好莱坞trailer到底是怎么样的一